Hello, hello, hello. Good morning and welcome. I believe wherever you're watching us from, you're doing so well. The weekend promises to be fun and lovely. This is your favorite weekend morning breakfast show, Rendezvous, and we promise to bring you more exciting topics that you can really relate to. I have with me my co-host. My name is Adjoa Kunedi Adam, and Jamila is here smiling, getting me confused. <laughs> Okay. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm okay, looking lovely Thank as you. always. Thank you, I love your earrings. Thank you. <laughs> I know you're all smiling, I, I figure you had a fantastic week. I did. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell us about it? It was work and fun, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can't all be work, so you try to combine, make it quite fun. So you work hard and then you play harder? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's been really hot of late though. Yeah, oh. but... Or, or it's just in Tema. It's all over. But then, you know, <laughs> I, I, funny enough, I heard when it rains, mm -hmm. if it doesn't really rain hard, the weather becomes hotter or warmer. I don't really yeah. know where that is coming from, but I thought it should rather get cool. No, I think according to science, when weather gets so hot, mm -hmm. that means the clouds are the getting ready in the to house, drop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. Anyway, okay. anyway so, but yeah. how was your week, though, apart from... Yeah, it was, working it, was, it, was it was okay. Like, like I said, it was just... Um, Fun. Anything fun and work. Exciting uh, happen. Oh, I'm <laughs> going to tell you that later. Maybe <laughs> behind the scene. But anything new for the weekend? Any uh, weekend trends? Something happening in town? Well, a few things happened on social media. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Did you hear about Kylie Jenner actually brought down the stock of Snapchat because she said she was off it? So tell me about a it, couple yeah. billions mm -hmm. went down for Snapchat. So that's like quite some influence there, uh -huh. you can tell me. Anyway, that is really um, Imagine great news, but uh -huh. if you say that, I, Canadian, do not want to use Snapchat anymore, and then that brings down the stock of Snapchat. That's like, <laughs> I don't think that's possible. <laughs> There's one funny thing I saw, but I'll tell you later. Uh -huh. Honestly, I will. But um, this morning, uh -huh. what are we having? Well, we have so many exciting, I'm very excited about the uh, today's lineup because we have coming in the house Chief Moomin. Mm -hmm. Yes, you heard right, so yeah. stay tuned for that. And then we also have Timothy Timothy Benson. Benson. Yes, yes. We're going Very to interesting actor that yeah, Ghanaians yeah. know very well. So it'll be, it'll be fun having him in a studio to share, you know, his life. With He's all actually of us. someone that I know personally, yeah. so I think yeah. it'll be exciting. You We're going to be talking about living your best life mm -hmm. and living a purpose-filled, a purpose-filled life. Yes. Okay, you see. Yeah. So stay tuned. So I'm sure we're going to learn more today uh -huh. if you are all living a purpose-filled life and all that. Yeah. So before we actually bring you all the exciting topics this morning, we have to take a quick break. Welcome back. Hooray. Our guest is finally in the house. Now let me ask you, do you ever just want to take a hold of everything life has to offer you? Or are you living a life that you know you are meant to live? These are some of the questions people keep asking themselves when it comes to the lives we are living here on earth. Whether you know you're or you're just living as the day comes. Today, we are discussing living a purpose-filled life. And I have with me in the studio an ace actor that Ghanaians know very well as Timothy Bentum. But anyway, he's no longer Timothy Bentum that we used to know. A lot has gone on, and we all know him as a man of God, a seasoned man of God, Pastor Timothy Bentum. Welcome, Pastor. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What an introduction. <laughs> <laughs> seasoned part. The other books are seasoned. We, yeah, we are still on the ground there trying mm -hmm. to find our feet. Mm -hmm. yeah. How has life been? Oh, life has been very interesting, very challenging. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of, lots of, lots of people don't necessarily think that you are. You are what you say you are. Mm -hmm. And so there are the, the, the lots of questions that answers. You know. But small, small we do inside. God is show us love. Do you find it challenging? Um, probably you get to a place and people don't actually believe the new person you've become and still relating um, to what they know, what they knew you, you, yeah, you, you yeah. for I mean, in the past. Uh, uh, interestingly, it's, it's, it's almost uh, the story of my life. Everywhere I stand to speak, uh, within the church settings, for the first 15 minutes, everybody's like, first five minutes, everybody's like, you know, people, there's such an evident, an evident, you know, mm -hmm. disbelief from mm -hmm. the people when they, when they, when they, 
when they're listening to you. But after a while, after a while, after, of course, God does what he wants to do. The mm -hmm. things begin to change. But I think that uh, our biggest challenge as, as, as entertainers who, who have Jesus is that people think that what they see you do or what they hear you do is, is you. So they can't differentiate between the Timothy, the actor, and Timothy, the human being, Timothy, the man. They both think that what, you, what, what they see you do on television. Somebody asked my wife once. My wife's mom asked her, I said, hey, wait, oh, oh. Oh, so uncool. Because she sees me on TV being okay. very bad. Okay. So she's assuming, say, but it's interesting. It? Wow. Very interesting. Uh, let me give you the WhatsApp line. You can also watch and send in your comments and contributions. So you can send this to 0501611823. 0501611823. You can send us your messages and also follow us on uh, Facebook at Sinkart TV Ghana. You can also share in your comments and contributions from there and we will read it to you. Now, Pastor, even the Bible says that we have the right not to pastor, everything. Not pastor, not pastor. We, have, we have the right to everything. Yeah. But it's not all things that uh, deserving to, that we, we should do. Yeah, it's yeah. not all things that yeah, we have yeah, to do yeah. or is deserving of us yeah, to do. Yeah. Yet life has given us so many opportunities. Every day we wake up to new opportunities yeah. and people want to fly, people want to rise yeah. and all that. Yeah. Now, if I'm conscious of living a purpose-filled life, what yeah. should I do? How do I know that even this life that I'm living is... Within I mean, my purpose. Per yes, within my purpose. I think that, uh, <clears throat> first off, that thing that you, that, that you do that comes very easily to you, that thing that you do even if you didn't get paid for it, is definitely linked to your purpose, mm -hmm. which, which means that gift and purpose are very tightly interwoven because without, without gift, there's no, there's no course that is chartered towards your purpose. Your purpose is the, the destination, if you like. The gift is what actually fuels you into... Mm -hmm. that destination, right? So what would I do? I, I question is, what would I do in this life that I'm living that if even you didn't pay me for, I would, I would still do regardless? Somebody once said that if you do what you love doing, you don't get to work a single day of your whole life mm -hmm. because for you, you're having fun and you're getting paid for having fun. You dig? I yeah, and I think that that's, what, that, that's the first step in, the, in identifying what your purpose really is. Mm. Now, it's very interesting uh, when, when we say a person is living a purposeful um, life. Oh, wait, let me, let me, I'm sorry, not to cut no you. No problem, go ahead. Let me, let me just make this point really clear because then somebody would say, well, uh, personally me, I, I like to sing, okay? And, and that's, my, that's my gift, mm -hmm. and that should take me to my purpose question is sing what whatever you, you you do must link to kingdom mindedness and kingdom progression so that it's not that yeah, I like to do this if it doesn't fall within God's purview mm -hmm. for man mm -hmm. that's not your purpose mm -hmm. because if you're singing and it's not glorifying God because your existence itself yeah. must give glory to God yeah. so I just had to make that point for the post great that that was actually what, what I'm uh, what I was oh, okay. coming up okay. to okay. because okay. interestingly when we when we say uh, a person is uh, living a purpose-filled life. Yeah. It has a spiritual connotation. Absolutely. Heavenly connotation. Absolutely. You can't. And with your life in particular, now, will you say that you are now um, living purposefully as compared to your well, days back the in, 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 a, in a movie industry? Um, I think that it will be doing some disservice to where I was because that also had some purpose to it, which was still godly. Because if if every movie had a morale to it, mm -hmm. a lesson to it, uh, if you watch the movie, you gain some uh, uh, lessons from the movie. And so that was sort of purpose-driven and purpose-filled. But as a person, I think, yes, after the whole process and where I am now, I'm not totally there yet because, of course, I still have my flaws, I still have my limitations, I still have my issues, I still have my faults. But through, through it all, where I am now, I think it's more, you know, a 75% uh, a degree of a lot more uh, uh, purpose-filled 
and and godly existence if you like mm. again um it's not about light and darkness maybe um doing all the things i love to do yeah but morally it's not right I see a bomb pie, mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm actually um living my life yeah. i'm doing what i love to do yeah. i'm living freely i yeah. don't care what anybody says about me yeah yet even the society, yeah, I mean, which is made up it. of human beings, yes. we, we frown on it. And what about God? My mind, which I won't mention. But, but uh, interestingly, I don't know how... <laughs> before you, you are happy about anything you're doing, before you feel like, this is me, wow, I finally found what I love to do. This is me. The first, the first barometer reading, the first... Uh, the first yardstick we should look for is how much of a relationship with God you have. Because everything you do on earth must be hinged on the God factor. Mm -hmm. You can't live a life that is purpose-filled on any level if you don't have a relationship with Jesus. And by that, I don't mean going to church. By that, I don't mean singing in church. By that, I don't mean sweeping in church and, 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 and packing the chest in church. I mean reading your Bible every day, talking to God about it, about stuff, praying, then things. Praying not, I'm not talking about praying, just talking to Jesus, talking to God, having some kind of a relationship. That relationship is the first step in getting to a life full of purpose. Mm -hmm. Now, it, it, it is, what about the satisfaction part of it? Let's... let's um move a bit out of the, uh, church yeah. and other other stuff let's yeah. say you are in in an office setting you're doing something it pays yeah. you well yeah. you, but you're, you're not getting the satisfaction that yeah. you need meanwhile yeah. that is what is putting food on, on your table. on your table how yeah. do you handle that uh, it's, it's 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 a very dicey situation there but in that particular setting i think the first thing that that you need to pull out of yourself is a lot of wisdom uh you can't stop immediately because yes uh, you, you have to eat. But then if you like to bake, for instance, and you're, you're a manager, a uh, bank manager, but you like to bake, and every morning there's so much work, you have to drag yourself out of bed and get into the office very grumpy and you don't want to work. The best thing to do is, so start a weekend baking thingy and start putting the word out there about it. So you slowly, you know, ease into what mm -hmm. you really love to do yeah. and then you start doing that instead. I know a bank... A, a lady who was a marketing director in a bank and now she runs a cleaning company and she's happy i mean i'm talking what three four months ago well, she just sent in her resignation she came we spoke about it i said yes why not and now she's very happy she's doing what she wants to do so i think it's balance wow. yeah. yeah just to add to that i don't know if you ever heard of it growing up but yeah. i heard of it yeah. that oh there was this um man he was a banker, he was a doctor, he was this and that, yeah. but he felt he wasn't uh, fulfilled or he yeah. wasn't happy. And yeah. then he became a charcoal seller and a whole lot of things. Yeah. I mean, I heard it yeah. so, yeah. 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 yeah, a lot of that. I think that, I think that then again, it comes back to the satisfaction mm -hmm. where you don't live for people, but you live for yourself. Mm -hmm. Of course, yourself, there's Jesus in there, so that's interwoven. But if, if I, th I think that I want to sell charcoal, for instance, I know a young man, not a young man, I know a story of a man who was an accountant. Good accountant. I mean, he was top notch. Nestle, as in as in multinational, not even in Ghana. Mm -hmm. He was in America. Now, he was very very grumpy about his job, and he wanted to become a, a garbage collector. As in, you know, mm -hmm. have a truck that collects garbage. As I speak to you now, he has a helipad. He has a helipad on top of his his skyscraper. So he. He goes into his hel helicopter and flies wherever he's going. Wow. And he stopped this thing 10 years ago. In 10 years, he's gotten so wealthy from collecting other people's garbage. He stopped being, a, being an accountant, and that's what he's doing now. So it's not necessarily what you do. It's the excellence you attach to what you do that brings results. Mm -hmm. So you can sell charcoal mm -hmm. and make a lot more money than you were wow. when you were a bank manager. Well, um... Our phone lines are activated, so you can call in 030-222-3126. 030-222-3126. You can also call in and let's hear what you have to say. Yes, yeah, so 
like you were saying, the story continues. I'm sure there are a number of stories we can hear out there yeah. uh, from people who were doing one thing and at a point they have to let go of it and follow their passion. Right. But how do you cope with the challenge? Because imagine you come from um, a home where your parents expect you to, I mean, after taking you through school, you're out, they're expecting you be in a very nice office yeah. as a banker, accountant and all yeah. that. Yeah. And then you come and say, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to mix beats. You know, those so kind of beats, you see. Like you, are. you want to do <laughs> Yes. So as a person <laughs> like that, how do you advise uh, such such person? How do we go about it? I think that time always tells. I've always told people my three favorite words under the sun is time will tell. Mm -hmm. Time always tells. So at first they will be, you know, uh, not too happy with you. They'll they'll say all sorts of things stick to it like a postage stamp mm -hmm. stick to the letter till it gets to its destination stay there keep doing you it's just a matter of time all right it looks like we have our first caller james good morning hello good morning how are you i'm fine thank you great pasta is here what do you have to say uh, what pasta timothy please you are um, go so ahead james. thank you very much for your project i'm loving it very very well great thank you um, thank you mr morty for whatever he's saying mm -hmm. but uh, i want to ask that i want him to tell um, his life story yeah, I want him to tell me his life story. I want okay. to know about him. Okay, great. Well, you great. Thank you, now. James. He's going to tell us. Hmm. So, Pastor Timothy, but Timothy I will keep calling oh. you Pastor because that's who you are. Oh, so, um, we, it looks like people want to hear from you, Why did your you life story. Well, Why well, not? Well, you, uh, you've been through a lot. It's a very and you are here show. today. If we start this, we can end like You, you give them a gist. So, how was it like, what we were discussing before the call came in, yeah. the challenge is you moving from your what you used to do, yeah. and then all of a sudden you woke up and say, hey, I want to, I want to be, I feel like this is not what, what I want to do. I want to be a pastor. I want to serve Christ. Okay, so um, we have Amos. Amos, good morning. Apia Stadium, forgive me. Please uh, welcome and contribute to the show. Oh, please forgive us. Ketri, ketri. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> Mate. Uh, Can you please go ahead? Uh, 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 Majid. Majid. Okay. Uh, Majid. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so yeah. uh, movie not not we don't we don't really have you see <laughs> I, <laughs> we don't have much time so uh, thank you for your contributions now yeah. pastor like what he was saying don't you think because of what they they knew you to to do so when whenever they see you it, it appears to be like you're still acting i, I don't think that it's, it's going to be very easy to just switch all of mm -hmm. a sudden plus i'm a very happy person yeah I mean, so even when there's a prophecy and i have to give it to whoever it is like you were saying i i, I will say what i have to say but i would i would also uh, uh, let's not make jesus too straight jacketed mm -hmm. and then you 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 ward a lot of people off because you are very you mm. know it's fun to be in jesus have yeah. fun but still still be serious with the word and mm. say whatever has to be said and do whatever has to be done all right david good morning morning how are you i'm fine thank you all right what do you have to say okay i didn't really listen to the beginning why i'm looking for him to start to listen to him to you're looking for what to what come again i said 
I didn't catch you from the beginning. Right? Mm -hmm. I want to talk to you. Mr. Bintu. Okay, so um, if you... If you did not hear us from the beginning, what we are discussing is living a purpose-filled life. So um, what do you do to make sure or to realize that I'm actually living my life? So you can just uh, watch from home and then continue. Um, yes, and you wanted to speak with Pastor. I'm sure you can do that right after the show. All right. So um, I heard there's a program coming up. Tell us about it. Wow, okay, I didn't expect that. Okay, so mm. I, I, the prophetic has been thrown into a lot of uh, disrepute and it has, has come under a lot of bashing lately. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that every gift of the church is supposed to edify the saints. Uh, uh, there's a service I do every Thursday and we, we just meet to pray and you know, uh, see what God does. But I, I think that we have downplayed the prophetic too much. Some of us have downplayed the prayer too much, downplayed the word too much. It's a matter of balance. A little word, a little prayer, a little prophetic, a little singing, all comes together to encourage and edify the saints. Are you speaking in relation to what has been um, on Ghana. social media? Of yeah, the... absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Uh, th there's been too much bashing of the prophetic. Mm -hmm. You know, I personally believe in a lot of word and prayer. If you come to any of our services on Thursday, there's prayer, a lot of because I believe that nobody can deliver you better than yourself mm -hmm. if you pray. Okay, so, but but every once every year, we put together a prophetic service okay. that is purely prophetic, so that we don't become cautious saints who have only word and prayer, and we are losing mm -hmm. the import of the prophetic. So mm -hmm. on this Thursday and Friday, I have uh, a prophet Udro JB, and I have uh, Samuel. Samuel Labi Jima was a prophet also, okay. coming together to do purely, and I mean purely prophetic. Great. Uh, 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 service. Great. Yeah. Talking about prophecies, now do you think with all that has transpired within yeah. the past few weeks, yeah. if God lays something on your heart during your um, program, yeah. you have the courage to just say it as it is, without any fear, without any favor? As we came out four days ago, on Sunday, that's what, like five, six days ago, and I asked him the same question you're asking me. Mm -hmm. He said he'd rather go on Radio Self and say it. Because wow. we are answerable to God, not man. Mm -hmm. Paul said, <laughs> well, I, I shall not fear what man shall do to me. Okay. Good morning. All right. I think we've lost uh, our next caller, so we will just keep up with the show. Go ahead, please. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not afraid what man would do to me because it's not about okay. what, what man thinks. Men would always say one thing or the other. The only consistent and failing, and shakeable, and ending thing mm -hmm. is God. And so if you're answerable to God, you do exactly what God says to do, because it's not about what happens here, it's about what happens uh, after we, 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 we've left here. You know? Okay, now uh, there's this psychologist, Eric Erickson, and he wrote, there's a couple of major identity crises that occur throughout the lifespan. Once in adolescence, when we begin to consider who we are and where we are headed, and then again in late adulthood, where we reflect on life. And I think this is what, uh, growing up, I've, I've, I've realized that most people, there are times we want to do something, but we take a pause. And we look into the future. Let's say, when I'm 60 years and I look back, would I be proud of mm. what I have achieved? And that is what goes on. That is what a lot of people uh, consider before they take a step. Now, I want to ask, is that really, really worth it? Because that also sometimes uh, places, you, uh, you can't really go all it out. It will hold you back. It yes. will hold you back. I, 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 I don't think practically, even many of these young people, just do things, so you don't really give it that much thought that if I'm 60 and I look back, most of the bars will not be full. Mm. Most of the clubs will not be full if people thought you know, futuristically, as to if I was looking back, would I be proud of what I'm doing now? Some people would, and I, I, I commend them for that. But it's good to sometimes take the risk because refusing to take the risk in itself is a risk. So you take the risk. As long as it's within the confines of spirituality, it, 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 it will satisfy you. Don't look all the way. Look, take it leaps and bounds, five years, 10 years, 15, 20 years. If you look at when you are 60, you won't do anything. Mm. 
Well, it's, it's really been good having you. I wish we have enough time to go on and on because this is really a topical to issue that a lot of people um, are going through, taking the right steps in life, what next to do, where do I get to in the next five, ten years and, and, and all. So right. thank you so much for being with That's us. Right. But before you go, anything finally that you have to um, tell people out there, especially in relation to what we are discussing? I like the especially part. But first off, come to GH Media on Thursday and Friday for the prophetic service mm -hmm. on Thursday and Friday at 6 p.m. Apart from that, I think that uh, whatever you're doing, first off, be happy to do it regardless whether you're paid or not. And secondly, make sure Jesus is at the center of it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Uh, we've been speaking with... Timothy Benton. Timothy Benton. Whether he likes it or not, I'm going to address him as such, and I'm sure you've really enjoyed. We'll just take a quick break. When we come back, the show continues. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Mm. Okay, so we are going straight to LoveNet. Sure. Tell me about it. Well, um, good morning to you, and good morning to our wonderful viewers and listeners. Um, well, LoveNet... It's a play written by Asie Durenchi. Okay. And has been artistically directed by Mr. Sami Fishen, who is the current president of the Ghana Act um, Actors Guild. Okay. Um, basically, it's about one young lady, Alice, who is so much in love with um, a young medical doctor, uh -huh. Eric. Um, Eric is doing so well just to get, you know, make ends meet so that he can take care of um, Alice. But as most young women would do, you know, they are not casting or putting their eggs into one basket. Okay. Basically, yet. Well, um, so like you heard, LoveNet is coming up tonight right here at Atenka Media Village, uh, Atenka Sika Hall, at 5 p.m. and then 8 p.m. So you can just grab your tickets. It goes for 40 um, cities. No, no, no. It's going for 30 cities. For 30 cities. Exactly. Okay, great. And then for couples, um, it's 50 cities. Okay, great. So uh, good to hear from him. I saw 40 here, but then it looks like God has touched his heart and things have reduced. So you can also uh, grab your copy. But what about my viewers? I'm sure somebody is watching and will want to um, have one. What, what yes, do you have um, to do? I, I deliberately said um, 30 uh -huh. CDs on air uh -huh. um, so that um, those who want to see it um, or want to see the play can come in for it at 30 CDs. Mm. Usually, what you're seeing on the ticket is 40 CDs. But um, for a, for a benevolent heart and a good man, Oh, anyway, so <laughs> there are so many plays out there that we all know. What will make someone want to come in and watch LoveNet? Yes, indeed. Um, we are in the month of love. Mm -hmm. um, in the month of love, so many things happen. People patch up or lovebirds patch up. People get separated and that kind of thing. LoveNet is a spectacle to watch mm -hmm. because it has been carefully couched. We are having the best of actors you might want to think about or you might want to see um, on stage. And then, um, indeed, there are other plays out there. But I want all of Sandri to come and see LoveNet because LoveNet would speak to one's heart. LoveNet would make you feel belonging because it's an all-inclusive theater kind of thing. No. So, uh, are your cast or actors people we know already? Oh, sure. Um, we're having the likes of Joe Offer, who was um, Kelly in Cow and Chicken. Okay. We also have Martin Sapak, um, who is the raster man in Cow and Chicken. Um, we also have myself, McDonald, mm. uh, Master Kwesi in Cow and Chicken. Um, not to say that we are bringing all current current chicken, chicken production, production here. Production, no, 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 no. But um, if you watch um, an award-winning TV series, you know, you get the characters or the actors in there mm -hmm. coming to play at the Sika Hall. It tells you that um, indeed you would mind, you might not waste your money. Indeed, you are going to enjoy yourself. Um, make sure that when you come around, you come with water because uh -huh, you are going to. Crack your rib. And it's only water that can save it. Really? You know? So what role are you playing? Well, I'm playing the role of the lawyer. 
Wow. Yes. Okay. And is it the first time for the entire crew to come out with a stage play? Not at all. Vision Theatre Company has been in existence for 23 years. Oh, wow. Yes, um, we're resident theater at the Art Center in Accra. Okay. Uh, we've, we've done a number of um, performances. We normally send our performances even to the doorsteps of the students or the secondary schools. Um, there are times that we also have um, programs where we bring all some secondary schools together to come and perform. Um, we have a lot of plays in our, in our, in our album. Mm -hmm. You know, and you might not have heard much about vision, theatre, um, because, you see, you and I would agree that um, theatre is dying off. Mm -hmm. um, now the feeling, the yearn to see a state play is gone because um, we are having telenovelas, we have the cuckoo, whatever, on screen. And people now, because of the hard day's work, probably might find it very difficult or... Um, going out um, to see a play in the in the in the in the theater, you see. But then we are we have realized that there is a need for us to revisit, rev revive okay. the theater. Okay. That is why Vision is poised okay. for actually ready to move. All in. right. Okay. Thank you so much for coming on the show, McDonald. All too soon, we have to wrap up the show, but we cannot just go without um, saying a big thank you, thank you to you. <laughs> but Jamila, yes. you, you, you were there when we were discussing the uh, you know, uh, social issues like um, living a purposeful life. What did you learn from it or what do you have to say? Well, just briefly, lot, then we go. I had a lot of things. But before the, you even had the interview, I said something, and I'm going to say it again. Okay. That you can live a purpose-filled life, but just make sure that it's in accordance with the laws of the country or the community or wherever you live. Because a lot of people say, well, let me live my life. But then usually it doesn't. There are rules. Yeah, there are rules. So okay. just make sure that they're governed by but Express yourself. Feel free. Okay. I'd like to, not to catch you, but I'd like to say Go ahead. good morning to Aisha, Panzo Beauty Hub. Thank you for my hair. I love it. And to Perfect Image for fixing it up for me. And thank you to Janet uh, Wesley Gone for my beautiful outfit. Thank you so much. And then let's also say a big thank you to our viewers, all those who um, have stayed with us since called 7 a.m. Sent WhatsApp messages. <laughs> those who called in. A big thank you to you. But there's one more thing from all of us here at Atenka Media Village, especially to the TV newsroom. One of our brothers, Kufianani, is having a wedding today oh, this morning nice. so Kofi and Annie, wherever you are i'm sure by now you're so hot on your seat you're so busy but we love you and we are right behind you all the best in the journey that you are embarking on today yes so do have a fantastic week and make sure live a purpose-filled life feel free and then let's meet back again next week sure on Rendezvous. same time and next week 7 on a.m 7 a.m to 9 a.m i hope you enjoyed it have fun and enjoy the rest of your weekend